Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're here to talk about that loading screen and the players that were dropped just yesterday inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team, Road to the Knockouts, also abbreviated as RTTK. I want to talk about the cards that we got yesterday, how they're going to upgrade, what's the deal with them, and how the market crashed again. Another promo Friday with more pack supply, more market crashing. We saw a new pack in the store, the 45k pack. And I just want to talk about why those prices went down and also start to talk about how maybe tonight, late into the night, Friday into Saturday morning and into today on Saturday, we might see a decent bit of a rise on this market, just like we saw last week. So right now the market is up as I'm recording this video, but I expect it to drop into the late Friday night and early Saturday morning time frame. So let's talk about what happened today on this game now this is the team obviously you guys have seen this this was the team that it was released in packs and you're like okay there's some cool cards a lot of people there's a lot of mixed opinions right a lot of people are happy with these cards because it's new cards usable items that fit right into a lot of you guys' teams you can try them out and have some fun we love that we like live upgrading cards very cool there's a lot of downside to this though too it's because a lot of these cards are in positions in their groups or in their competitions whether it's europa league conference league or champions league where it doesn't look like their cards going to get an upgrade so it's basically just a promo team of cards with an upgrade that's going to not that's not going to happen until late november at the earliest and that for some reason for some people is making it not very hyped also the player selection right we've got marquinhos that's a big name player and hyunmin son Leroy Sané is a pretty big name. Other than that, though, there's not anybody from Manchester United, no Manchester City, no Chelsea, right? There's a lot of teams in no, no Liverpool as well. A lot of Premier League. There wasn't a lot of Premier League representation besides Diop and Son in this team. And a lot of people think that the player selection could have been better. But with the players that we do have, I think it's a W, right? We have a lot of nice players in here. That Traore card is nice. Isak is one of the most hyped up cards released today. Marquinhos is a dub. Um, and then you also have to factor in the live upgrading portion to these cards too. Uh, as we saw on the loading screen, these cards get upgraded in two different ways. Basically, instead of the road to the final, the final was, you know, road to the final. That final is like the big end goal, right? Our big end goal for these cards is just getting to the knockout stage, right? And that happens at the end of December or the beginning of December, the end of November is when those berths will be clinched, I guess you could say. Um, and that's how they get upgraded. If the team qualifies for the knockout stages of their current competition, they will get upgraded. And if the club earns three wins from their four remaining group stage matches, which the first matches start this week, that's how they get a secondary upgrade. So there's two potential upgrades for these cards over the course of basically the next two months. It's, it's going to take about about two months in total for all these cards to, to play out and to get their upgrades. But the first upgrades we should see in about not a little about a little over a month, right? Like the end of November is match day uh, five. So this week we have match day three coming up. So if teams can win the first three games, they can get their upgrade right away. And some will get, they will clinch their berth into the knockout stages on that match day five. So a little bit of what we have to talk about today too is just that that, that upgrade time frame is just not very soon. And yes, these cards are live and they're going to fluctuate, but a lot of these cards too, their clubs are kind of low. They're all, the, these cards are all over the place, right? Marquinhos and PSG, Bayern and Sané, they're at the top of their groups looking like they're going to coast through to the knockout stages, whereas some of these other teams like Leipzig, like Tonali and Milan, Inter and Vidal, they're in some tough spots. So that's what makes it interesting and maybe a bit, uh, some of these cards look like they won't get upgraded, like Mukiele and Leipzig Two games played, two lost, zero points right now, right? Milan is also on zero points in Group B. Group C, you've got Ajax, right, on six points. So that one looks pretty good with Gravenberch. This card getting a potential upgrade looks good. But if you look through this team, there's a bit of a downside with some of these cards and how they actually might get upgraded. You take a look at Isak, even. Real Sociedad, two games played, two draws. So they're on two points. So they're in position to maybe make a comeback and spring forward into the, the, the top of the group. So, you know, it's early, right? And it's going to be fun to follow these fluctuations. They're going to be great to trade with, based, especially on those cards like Isak, like Vidal, that are on the border. They're borderline being, you know, getting onto the knockout stages or not. So we're going to continue to monitor those over the next couple of weeks uh, as we go throughout this game, as these are live items and they will get at least one, maybe if not two upgrades. So that's going to be cool. 
um, as we see that. But those are the cars that are in packs. And that was kind of the highlight of content, if I'm being completely honest, yesterday. The other cards that were released via objectives and via SBCs, in my opinion, are not that hot. This Andre card, it looks okay. It's just not that good, right? I think they needed to give him a bigger juice. And Lille right now in their group, I believe, is sitting in last place. Yes, Lille is sitting on one point in Group G. Definitely not out of the question yet to move out of that group, but it doesn't look that good. And you need upgrades on this Andre card for it to look good. So if you're going to grind this objective, which isn't super duper hard, but, you know, group stage glory. I don't even know what that friendly mode looks like. Um, nine matches, win nine matches, score finesse goals. So if you want to grind that out, you can. I just don't think that's the best card in objectives. And I think the Delict SBC is nice. I think this is a decently priced SBC um, and it is an okay card, but look at the card right next to him in the SBC section, Koulibaly. If you're doing Delict, why not do Koulibaly unless you already have, have done it? Because I think this Koulibaly card looks just as good if not better than Delict will after Delict gets one or two upgrades because this guy already has 83 pace, 89 defense, 87 physical. Delict will have above 90 physical and high 80s defense with a couple upgrades, but he'll barely crack 80 pace, whereas sprint speed and uh, pace on center backs in this game is so important and Koulibaly has 89 sprint speed and with an upgrade, Delict is not going to come close to that. He's going to be like 83 or 84 max. So I think this Koulibaly for the price point right now is a better SBC than Delict, if I'm being completely honest. People say Koulibaly is cracked in game. So, you know, besides that, I think the content today is, is nice. But the bigger content on this game was the no loss glitch and the market movements that were happening because of that no loss glitch on the market, supplying the market with team of the week cards. If you guys did not know, I believe it has since been patched. Um, I've been like hearing and seeing things on Twitter that the no loss glitch has been pa uh, patched, but there was a no loss glitch going around in, in foot champs uh, and people were doing this, this no loss glitch. And basically what they were doing uh, was using this glitch to get themselves a higher win count total in the weekend league in foot champions and therefore they were getting higher rewards and they were getting team of the week packs and opening team of the week packs right because weekend league opens early on fridays so this team of the week yesterday if we take a look at some of these graphs i'll show you these prices they had incredible drop-offs in price because of all of the insane supply in such a short amount of time 87,000 coins under Rafinha, all the way down to 62. He's been rising up into the higher 60s. Um, of course, as a lot of people saw these prices and like, man, these are way too cheap. Take a look at Inform Teo Hernandez. He was down at 200,000 coins flat after being 290. Went down to 200. He was actually 200K flat. This doesn't do it justice. He was 200K flat before now rising back up. Mane was 820K. Now he's 870. Uh, so just insane, insane drop-offs in price on a lot of these informs today. We might have seen the lowest, depending on what content comes out for the rest of this weekend. Uh, Lozano was like 30K flat at one point during the promo pack supply too. We might have seen the low point for Team of the Week 4 today. I think today or last night, Friday in the daytime, and maybe a little bit today on Saturday, if there's more, depending on the supply and depending on the panic selling today, that might be the low point for Team of the Week 4 as there's a lot of meta cards in here and people are going to start to buy them up and put them in their teams. And uh, that was a crazy happening yesterday on the market. But if we take a look at the index 100 in, in general, just as we expected, right? A big market drop off yesterday, again, with the pack supply, right? A lot of your golds dropped. Again, the informs dropped. A lot of stuff on this game just dropped in general yesterday because of the supply. They put a brand new pack in the store, a 45,000 coin promo pack which is 12 gold, six rares, including 182 plus overall player guaranteed. Now, looking at the pack probabilities, UCL wrote to the final player, 1.7%, UEL under one and UECL under one. Um, the pack odds for these cards, it, they're low. These are very low. Remember last week, it's less than 1% for a UCL road to the knockout player right now from a 25K pack. Last week with UCL cards from 25Ks, it was 2.5%. So these cards are definitely more rare than the ones to watch cards were last week. But again, what you had a lot of today was just supply, supply, supply on the gold cards that were in packs. Specifically, Usman Dembele was 70K to start the day 
uh, on Friday, and he was he was all the way down to 58k during lightning rounds. Now, of course, the Rodrigo card dropped his price a little bit, but you just saw prices across this entire game uh, going down. Urente, right, a very popular card at the moment with league. La Liga links being very popular. This Urente card was down to 130k. He's risen back up to right around high 140s, 150,000 coins. There were just tons of price drops on this game yesterday in that first 30 minutes. Basically, the first 30 minutes when all those saved up packs were opened, all the promo packs were spanned. That's when you saw these prices drop the most. De Young was down. He was 110 this morning. Went down to about 95k and is now back up almost back to 110,000 coins, right? Goretzka was 160. He went down in the 140s, now back to 155. Um, so you saw a lot of movements on this market today, just as we expected. If you wanted to buy a team with gold cards, Friday during that first 30 minutes with the promo uh, pack supply was your time. That was an absolute great time to buy some of those cards now we'll talk about these the promo cards here in a second hero cards have rebounded very nicely they got supplied i bought a morientes at 250 i thought that drop was too big again with that isak card being out and with the rodrigo card being out player of the month benzema being very hyped up at the moment uh la liga is a very hyped league in this game and so is syria melito went 160 all the way up to 202 with the big boy midfielders, Tonali and Vidal being released today. A lot of people were trying those cards out uh, on this game. So you saw a lot of prices move upwards on heroes, on icons, on the out of packs team of the weeks. We take a look at um, maybe team of the week three. Uh, Sun was rumored to be in the team. He did get in the team. He went from 515k all the way up to 559. So a nice rebound on his card right there. Um, Gabriel Jesus was panic sold down under 200k. He is back up now. Barella was 125. He's back up to 137. So the out-of-pack stuff was the safest play for sure. Uh, Kimmich was 190. He's now 212. Salah was 600. He was just 650 a minute ago. So that that part of the market and icons uh, rebounded very well again because the promo today wasn't anything anything like shocking and super spectacular. Now, I bought a lot of icons and flipped some icons today. It was a great time for flipping these cards. And what I'm gonna say is you've seen this market rise up a lot, right? You've seen the market rise up some, like we talked about, uh, Urente was 130, he's now 150. Uh, or we looked like this Balak, I bought at 650, sold him at 707. Uh, I bought this Makalele at 660K. He was just the cheapest up at 730. Now he's getting undercut a little bit. And there's a 690 undercut. I'm gonna leave mine since it's fresh right around 730, see if we can get a nice bit of profit there. But, oh, I bought Alfonso Davies too. I have a couple Alfonso Davies that I bought for, what did I get these for? Two Alfonso Davies at 52K, 52K flat for Davies. Um, and with a couple Bundesliga cards being hyped up out of this team and people using Bundesliga, like with Wurtz, player of the month being out, I thought this was a good buy. How much is Davies at the moment? Alfonso Davies is... Not quite 60K, but he's almost there. This, these are the types of cards that I want you guys to be watching tonight. Late Friday night into the Saturday morning time frame. I know this video is dropping early Saturday morning. I'm talking tonight, US time. I'm talking tonight, USA time, where I am from. So early morning, UK. I'm talking like 5, 6 a.m. UK time, or basically when you wake up and watch this video, take a look at some gold cards on the market. This Davies card went from down to 51, 52K. He's back up to about 56, 57. If this card, or let's use Marcus Urente as our example again. If this guy drops back down, so Marcus Urente is basically 150 at the moment. Right now, what you have are a lot of people. This is the hot time on the market right now. A lot of people have open packs. They've gotten coins. They're going out, building squads, putting together teams with the promo cards or with the coins that they have gotten to play weekend league and to play games. What they're gonna do is a lot of people start to sell off and this happened big time last week. A lot of sell off happened in the late Friday night US time into Saturday UK time. So Saturday morning UK time, like early, early when this video comes out, the market should be a bit lower. You're gonna see these promo cards drop a bit off in price too. And basically the very meta parts of this market, right? The golds did well, the informs should do well. Just watch for big price dips and price drop-offs, even on these promo cards too, right? Isak today. I want to take a look at this Isak card because it's not going to show this probably, but he had an insane, insane fluctuation. When this card was first dropped into packs, he was getting bought 
for 110,000 coins. It shows 150, but it was actually 110. Here we go, 115, 115, right? 112,000 coins, and look where he went. He went all the way up into the 190s. He's now dropped back to 143K. Keep a close eye on this card tonight because he is very hyped up. A lot of people are using him and they want to try him out, right? And they're going to wake up on Saturday today and want to try this card. Mukiele, 74K. Vidal has dropped 30,000 coins. He was 130. Tonali was 170. Rodrigo was 330,000 coins, right? So some of these really popular cards, like even Traore was 62K. Now he's 47K. Watch these cards kind of drop off into the late night, early morning UK hours and see if you can snag any of these cards at a low price, kind of when you're looking around this video or even uh, in the early morning hours of Saturday as after this video goes out. I would really watch the informs from this week's Team of the Week. I'd watch gold cards like Rashford, like De Young, Mendy, Werner, uh, Teo Hernandez, even though he's out of packs. Raheem Sterling, 48,000 coins. That's a big drop off for him. He was like 60K at one point this past week. Yeah, he, I mean, he was probably like 44, 45K during the lighting rounds. I didn't check on Sterling, but that's a really big drop off uh, in the past 24 hours. So keep an eye for more drop offs tonight because I think you will see the market rise nicely into Saturday as people wake up on Saturday and, and want to go play games. They want to go play foot champs. They want to play their weekend league and they want to get games in um, in that competition. So really keep an eye on that part of the market. Uh, this evening. That'd be my number one tip. Now, if you want to trade with icons, it's a great time to be doing some of that as well. A lot of these cards got uh, traded off and they, they get very rare. Friday nights into Saturdays, these cards get rare. And last week, what we saw is a lot of them go up in price. This Seedorf was 630K earlier today. And right now he's 690,000 coins. Petit was in the low 700s. What is he right now? High 700s, right? So there's profit that to be, there was to be made there. Rooney was 760. And I believe he was just over 800K as well. One of my friends sold him at 830. I bought a Baggio at 750, sold at over 800,000 coins. So just look for the rarity. Like this Terry Henry is a great icon to trade with. Fantastic. Wow, he's 1.2 right now. It's crazy, crazy high, right? As you've seen, a lot of this stuff is pretty high on this market. Only the promo cards are starting to dip off a little bit as people uh, have traded with them. So follow this market into the nighttime. Of course, when this video released, is released, it's going to be that nighttime time frame. So that's why I wanted to talk about just potential to buy some of these cards as you're looking at this video. Look at the hero cards, look at the golds and some of that. And I do think there will be an opportunity to trade and to fluctuate, fluctuation trade with some of these cards today on this game. Now I'm going to list this up at seven, let's go 747. I'm going to give this a little bit of time. Icons get rare at night, so, so we should be good there. And I'm actually going to list up my Alfonso Davies I'll list them up for some lazy. Let's see. Lazy buyers are in, are in full effect too. So I'm going to list them. Uh, I'm going to list these at 60. Let's go 57, right? That's just a little bit of profit per card. But that's what I'd be looking for. If Alfonso Davies drops back to 52K tonight, then I'm going to look to buy him again. I'm going to look to buy him again. And probably with no more supply coming on the market and people wanting to wake up and play foot champs, he could rise back up to around 57, 58K. I know that's not a lot of profit per card, but it's a small flip that you can make in a short time frame, time window that could be really, really good and make you some coins today. So that's what I would watch for on the market. Um, otherwise, I think we'll probably see another objective or SBC player today. If you think back to ones to watch, they'll probably drop these SBC players or objective players pretty early. So I would expect today to see another SBC Hopefully somebody from a big team, a nice card that would move the market a bit, maybe move some SBC fodder as well, and then maybe another objective player today on Saturday. So that's going to be very interesting to see how that moves and how that moves around on the market. But crazy day, right? A lot of prices dropping down. A lot of profit was made. I bought a lot of icons yesterday, man. You saw my transfer list. Uh, these icons were traded before the content drop, after the content drop. Uh, this Morientes was a good flip. I bought this before he went out of packs. Bought it at 97, I think. Sold it at 109. A little 10 minute flip there. Uh, so it was a really profitable day on a lot of the icons and a lot of the heroes moved as well. So I'm going to sell these cards, take my profit tonight. It was a good day of making coins and we'll continue to see if we can make some money into the day today on Saturday. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.